Wait, hindi ako prepared. <laughs> Rag. <laughs> Ganun. Sige. Wait. I don't know. Ah, tsaka na. Okay, so hello, I'm Tichi. I went to high school sa St. Scholastica's Academy, Marikina. So I'm from Marikina. And my experience noon, um, paano ba? Well, in high school pa lang, I was already a student athlete. So I play volleyball. And so, syempre, nung time na yon, I balance my academics and my volleyball as well. So yung mga trainings namin. And I think, masaya naman. Um, nung high school, dun ko talaga natutunan how to be disciplined with myself and, you know, knowing talaga my priorities, my responsibilities, and my commitment. And I think with that, it helped me sa college life ko. Mas nalaman ko how to set my priorities, how to balance everything that's happening during college. So, parang yung high school ko, that was my training ground, kumbaga. But mo pinili ng anak. What do you choose? Gusto ko lang. <laughs> um, sige, family background ko kasi we're very uh ano ba, physically active. Like when I was younger, when my parents were younger, mahilig talaga kami to go to outdoor activities. So like um hiking, ganon, camping and all that. And yung dad ko rin talaga, madami siyang um sports na ginagawa, especially when he was younger. So, malaki talaga yung influence nun sa amin. So, for your knowledge, ano lang, random fact, yung two sisters ko kasi, before they were badminton, varsity players. Ako lang yung naiba, ako lang yung nag-volleyball. Um, pero before kasi, nagba-badminton din talaga ako. Kaso, hindi ko na siya nagustuhan, nabore ako with the training and all that. So, I shifted to volleyball. And so, ayun, dun siya nag-start na... Uh, ever since na nag-transfer ako to volleyball as a sport, yun. Tuloy-tuloy na siya until college. Okay, upcat story. Sige. Um, what happened kasi, I only took two entrance tests. That's upcat and ASEP. Kasi, ayo ng parents ko na lumayo kami. So, ang options ko lang, dyan lang ako sa Katipunan. And so, when I took the ASEP, very confident ako na feel ko naman, papasa ako sa asset. But then, nung lumabas yung results, naiyak ako kasi hindi ako pumasa. But then, sa upcat naman, hindi ako confident. Kasi sa upcat, as in, ang hahaba ng questions, di ba? Tapos nun, right minus wrong pa. So, ang hirap mag-risk na manghula lang kasi baka yun pala mali. Ganun. So, yun. Basta hindi ako super confident sa upcat ko nun. And so, nung nalaman ko na hindi ako pumasang asset, edi nawala na talaga yung hope ko na akala ko hindi na rin ako papasa sa OPCAT. But, thankfully, thankfully, pumasa ako. But pumasa ako sa second choice campus ko, which was UP Pampanga. And so, during that time na um, papasok na dapat ako sa UP Pampanga, I was actually training na rin sa UP Women's Volleyball Varsity Team. And so, I was left with two options. So, either I go to UP Pampanga for a year and then transfer to Diliman or um, enter uh, the Diliman campus under the varsity program. So, yun yung two options ko nun. And I was in a dilemma talaga nung time na yun. Yung dilemma ko kasi, I was thinking, ano ba, itutuloy ko ba ang volleyball sa college or hanggang high school na lang ba to? Ready ba ako na lumipat muna sa Pampanga for a year, malayo sa family ko, just living alone, independently, ganon. So, yun yung dilemma ko. But then, um, ang pinili ko was, uh, pumasok ako as a varsity na sa Diliman. So, I was part of the women's volleyball varsity team. Ayun, and I think okay naman yung decision ko. Turned out well, dito ako ngayon. So, yeah, all is good. But yeah, that was my OPCAT story. Na I passed the OPCAT, pero sa second choice campus ko. But then I ended up um, entering Diliman, the Diliman campus under the varsity program. Wow. Student athlete. Mm -hmm. And how did you overcome it? Okay, pinaka challenge really was balancing training and academics. Because 
training namin, it's every day except Sundays. Tapos nun, sometimes twice a day pa siya. So that's morning and then afternoon. So that was my main challenge was making sure I stay on top of my academics, making sure that I tend I attend our trainings and then, you know, mapakita ko na nag excel ako sa training. And then at the same time, maintain my social life kahit pa paano, you know, my friends outside the team, ganon. So, yun, I try to juggle all of that. And to add to that kasi, hindi ako nagpupuyat. Oh my God! Wow! As in, I don't like sleeping late. I don't like those sleepless nights na talagang all-nighters nag-aaral. It's not effective for me. And so, ayun, all of those I have to juggle. But then, thankfully, nagawa ko naman siya na hindi ako nagpupuyat, pero nagtitraining ako, akads and all that. Pinaka-tip na mabibigay ko, it's really knowing your priorities and using your time wisely. Yun talaga. Um, kaya ko rin nagagawa na hindi magpuyat. Mas prefer ko kasi na gumigising ng maaga. So, let's say my training finishes at 10. Ganyan. So, kain, ligo, ganyan, ba? And then I sleep at around 11 p.m. And then after that, the next day, I wake up, let's say, 7 or 6 a.m. Ganyan, kapag may mga kailangan akong gawin. So, I wake up early, I finish my requirements, and then after that, I go to class. And then those free time ko in between classes, parang yun na yung pang social life ko, ganun na. Tatambay ako dito sa just na to with my friends or sometimes tatambay ako sa live if may kailangan talaga ako tapusin ganyan so it's really more of using my time wise hmm we feel prepared <laughs> sige i think for me ah, um considering that i experience both yung face to face classes and online classes Ang life lesson na natutunan ko, it's really grab those chances or grab those opportunities while you can. And I think that's something na medyo regret ko no time na yun. Um, just because there were some opportunities na hindi ko tinake or hindi ko grenab, just because I made excuses for myself and because takot ako to go out of my comfort zone. But then I realized later throughout the years, Oh, kalimutan tanda ko na. <laughs> but then later on, I realized na your high school, hindi pala high school, sorry. Your college years. That's really the time when you can experiment, you can make mistakes and okay lang. Parang hindi siya end of the world if you do that. So, I think yun yung mabibigay kong lesson sa inyo na while you're a freshie sa college or Ngayon na enter pa lang kayo sa college. Make the most of what you can. So really grab all those opportunities na dumadating sa inyo. But of course, make sure na it's within your bandwidth na kaya yung i-handle. Hindi yung yes lang ng kayo ng yes to everything. So make sure naman na kaya nyo. But yun nga, it's saying yes to those opportunities that where you'll really learn and you'll really grow. Because this is the time for you to experiment and for you to um, try all those things. Yeah. All those times na nasa akad oval ako, I think that's one of the best talaga. Um, ever since kasi I was a child, lagi na akong nasa UP. Kasi yung dad ko, he has a family who lives in the UP village. So, lagi talaga ako napapadpad doon. And parang ever since, when I'm in the akad oval, Yun. If you guys don't know, the Akad Oval, yun yung malaking paikot doon sa si UP. So, most of the buildings, ayun, paikot lang siya doon. Um, so, dito sa Akad Oval, parang ito talaga yung solace ko. Like, this is like my peaceful place, happy place. Na every time I'm there, okay lang umiyak, okay lang tumawa, okay lang magalit, okay lang, okay lang kahit ano. And I don't think no one will judge you there. Kasi... Everyone, I think all of the UP students would agree na the Akad Oval, it's parang it's very personal. Na lahat ng UP students doon may personal connection with the Oval, lalo na dun sa Sunken Garden area. So yeah, I think that's the best memory. I agree with that. Diba? Advice. Magdasal. Charat. <laughs> um, seryosohin nyo yung review kasi it would really help you 
with answering the questions and parang in the long run it would make your life easier na hindi kayo magsisisi na naghirap kayo for what three four months of preparation before the upcat yun lang kasi once na malaman yun na pumasa yung upcat it's really it's really a great feeling and not just upcat but you know knowing that you passed something that you worked so hard for it's a awesome feeling na I hope ma feel nyo when you get your upcat results but yeah um it's works working smarter not harder so the same with upcat review ganon din so yeah I think that's my tip that's my lesson for you guys good luck <laughs> Um, do enroll with us dito sa OPCAT Masterclass kasi nga, work smarter, not harder. Makikita nyo naman sa courses namin, sa lessons na very, ano ba, very detailed, very efficient, or very concise yung pag-explain ng mga questions, answers, and then the tips. So yeah, if you want to know more or if you want to study better for the OPCAT, Come join us. Tara, makikita niyo ako doon. Yun lang. Yes. <laughs>